Yeah. Right. So, so Swedish definitely is capable of taking these sets, yeah. you know, taking, taking games off at the very right. least. I'd be interested to know what the uh, the matchup was too, which space you Mango had been playing. Oh, true, true. Oh, great read from Swedish with that forward air. Yeah, he got pushed jump. into a corner early. He needed to read like that in order to create some space. True. Mango's still keeping the pressure on. Mm -hmm. So okay. Swedish has uh, find those narrow little holes that he needs to not get completely buried. Oh, mm. the conversions. But yeah, you're absolutely right. The way he's getting out of them is uh, preemptive hitboxes, yeah. kind of reading where Mango is going to be. Yeah, it's a lot of what Sheik has to do, I think, in order to uh, be able to stop Spacey's pressure. Yeah. You know, Agreed. read those full hops, uh, preemptively get those tilts out where you need them. Oh, up smash out of shield. <laughs> All right. Mango with the optimal punish on the unsafe dash attack on shield. Pulling a page from the box. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, boy. And it's important to note how he delays his down airs to extend these combos. You know, he doesn't go right shine down air. He, like, delays it just a little bit like he does there to get the full optimal combo. Yeah. Okay. Okay, only can get a soft back air to that. Oh, but he just catches Mango descending. But Mango's DI on that forward tilt, typically that is a free forward air. Okay, yeah. great angle, but covers the uh, descent of the up -beat. It's a good point you make on that DI, because you can't DI too far out. Yeah. You put yourself in a, a difficult to recover situation, but you can't DI in either, because then they get a follow-up off on it. So. True. Oh, great spacing. Baits him out with the short back air. Nice roll. Ooh, wow, that shine missed. Ah, the zoo. The zoo. My oh, man, Mango keeping that full stock lead. Swedish again with the full hop read. Yeah. The thing is, he's not getting too much off of these either. He creates some space for himself, but when Mango gets a hit, he just does so much more. Yeah, Sheik is really reliant on getting that grounded hit exactly. and those tech chases to really make the most of it. And the way Mango's playing, like you mentioned, it's oh. not working out. No, yeah. Oh, I think Mango understands more than any that when he gets hit in the air, it's, you know, more safe for him than when he gets hit on the ground. True, true. Unless, you know, the air hit sends him into a tech chase or a but grounded situation. Here's that conversion we're, we're talking about. Oh, oh my god. I can't believe that down smash missed. Yeah. He needed to take a half step forward, I suppose. Oh man, uh, he does his neutral air faster than uh, Sheik can throw out hit hers. Yeah, I feel like Sheik near typically wins in that situation. Typically? Without, yeah, Mango just had to have put his near out a little bit earlier. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Oh, keeping the conversion on though. Oh man. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of understands that he's probably going to go for the edge and yeah. puts out the back air there. That's a pretty safe back air to put out, too. It's not like he's committing too much to anything. True. You get a kill off it if it lands. If not, you still have position on him. True. Oh, he had the right read. Yeah, just didn't quite get it. This is his chance, though. Oh. Double jab. I think he was assuming uh, that he was going to get Smash di out of it and then puts out that forward tilt just in case. Yeah. Mango with the classic Falco conversion down air, the down smash, and I think that one back air should more than likely seal this. Oh, the tech! Never mind. Swedish not going down without a fight, and yeah. that was a great neutral air. Most of the time you would get a grab off there because uh, Mango was turned around in his shield. And the up smash up again. Smash. Yep. <laughs> I guess uh, <laughs> the sign. Oh yeah. no! Oh the no! The kid is in Boston. Okay, and Swedish. That was a, what, a two-stock? Yeah, pretty solid two-stock at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, going right into game two, Dreamland counterpick. And I think just the way uh, Mango was playing was a little bit overwhelming. So perhaps Dreamland allows him to get a little bit more space and get something. Oh, <laughs> what a read! Oh my god, the forwarder follow up too. Man. No, I think you're absolutely right about that. Like, he needs room to breathe. I'm just, that that was such a call out with that up smash. Yeah. Oh, he misses the wave land too, Mango. All right, well, Swedish needs to get this grab to start something off and Mango's just smash DIing all these hits that Swedish gets, not letting him get too much off of it. Oh, and again, nice. <laughs> the second double laser in a row. Nice. Covers the high recovery through there too. Swedish finally converting a nice edge guard. Yeah. He need, the, he, that's what he needs right there. Anytime he puts Mango off stage, he needs to be able to uh, be very efficient in his edge guarding. Ooh, good patience. True, true. Nice. Space is right outside of it. 
Okay. That was a good DI from Swedish as well. Yeah. Oh, oh that trade is actually going to take the stock. This guy in his hard oh my reads. God. Yeah, he's honestly been inside Swedish's head this set so far. I mean, honestly, pretty brutally. Sheik on his dis on her descent is pretty difficult for her to like get uh, get back into neutral or get landed. And Mango's oh. just making the most out of it. Yeah. That up B and the up smash. Right. She doesn't have a lot of options to begin with, but Mango's like, all right. Right. What we've seen Mewtwo yeah, can do in the past is uh, do his up B actually, and that kind of throws off people's timings. Yeah, and then true. Uh, falls down with that, so yep. could be made a made use here. Swedish not able to set up much of a defense at all. He'll get stray hits here and there. There we go. This should be clean. Nice. Yeah, nice. There we go. Nice, nice. Mango goes for the low angle, but Swedish is ready with the down smash. Right, right. Nice. And oh, Swedish, ooh, that could have been dangerous. Swedish could have gotten a grab off that. Mm -hmm. And he didn't fall for the spacing uh, forward smash that time. No, not at all. Okay, Mango tries to go for that high back air read. Yo. Oh, oh yeah, he's going to get the second follow-up on that easy. Doesn't even want to deal with accidentally getting the wrong hitbox of the down air. Yeah, right, just narrow close it out. Mm -hmm. See, that smash DI on the forwarder doesn't let him get any grabs after. No. And that's big for this matchup. Yeah, Swedish has had very few lengthy conversions at all. But laser, power shielding the laser into grab is one of the ways she can kind of combat this play style. Wow, I can't believe that needle actually went below. That was crazy. And he's been punishing quite a bit with down tilt against these uh, needle, needle or uh, lasers from Falco. Oh my god, you see the DI on that jab for Mango? <laughs> it's so far away. Yo. Great tech on the back air, too. Uh -oh. As much as we've been talking about uh, how nice Mango's aggression has been, oh, he's just going to close that <laughs> game out. You're talking about Mango's aggression? Yeah, that's the oh, aggression. <laughs> but I'm saying, you, despite how amazing it's been, i got to give props to his defensive play as well. Yeah. You, yeah. You've been noting his smash DI has been so effective. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, his DI in general and recovery, the way that he's been mixing up. Right. Both of them. Right, right. What is, what is this? Oh, oh yeah. shines right before the shield. Oh, oh shield grab. That's the craziest call out. Yeah. He had the charge up smash to start the game off and then the up B to close that stock out as well. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Swedish committing to that neutral air, which stayed out for a long time. Big time. Couldn't get too much aerial drift in that position. Great recognition from Mango. Ooh. Ah, look at this. Just keeping the pressure on. Oh my gosh. Swedish with a nice roll in, though, finally recognizes Mango over committing into the corner. But look, he gets stage position, and he's unable to really do much with it. Yeah, that's that's the difficulty in this matchup. Yeah, and it's what he needs to be able to figure out how to do is to, like, set up that defensive wall a little bit more readily. Doesn't get the grab there that time. That's crucial. Yeah, but really good DI in the shine, at least. Great commitment from Swedish to go to the edge there. Yeah. That oh. takes faith. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seriously. Mm, Swedish runs up to shield. Okay. Good wait. Oh, I can't believe that he didn't get the fair off that. That's just a misconversion. Mango didn't attack. Right. And yeah, if he if he can somehow do power shield lasering a little bit more uh, consistently and get grabs off that, that could really turn the tides. Yeah, definitely. Again, great DI on the follow up from Swedish. Yeah, yeah. He's doing a lot more run up shield right now too. Uh, not going for the tilts. I think the run up the shield normals. is is trying to do the power shielding. I believe. Yeah, trying to time it with that. Yeah. He's catching the. Uh, Yo, is that West Balls? <laughs> The West Ball's pressure on, no, on nothing, just doing it. <laughs> right. Uh, but no, what I was saying about the, the run of shield is that he's since Mango's over committing on a lot of these, he's catching him early, doing the early aerials, and then shield grabbing him with it too. Right. So right. it is it is good that he's trying to you know like run up power shield, try to set something up, but he's also just you know calling out Mango's approaches. True. And true. Finding one way that he's able to deal with it. Yeah, that's a good point. Nice. And that's again, down those tilt. down tilts at the edge. Yeah. Very well spaced. Oh, you great grab off that. Mango not oh. nice using the forward air at all. The mix-ups with that jab fall down forward air. Oh, finally catches him fading away. Swedish has been going for a lot of shield grabs, so. Okay. Mango got him that time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I think he caught his jump, but it's all right. Nice. Yep. The roll on F smash. Mango with a full stock lead. Oh, boy. Swedish on the ropes. He's got quite a, a road ahead of him. Oh, yeah. He's made some adjustments, but you can't just make adjustments. You have to execute as well. And Ooh, there we go. catches the full hop. Swedish is doing a, an okay job this time, like uh, rolling out of the pressure from Mango. Oh my god. Mango! Oh, oh he read the jump too! But he gets that weird up air hitbox where it doesn't have too much stun. Wow. Twice on that stock, he read jumps with up airs. 
and then goes off God. with the high back air, catching Swedish, just trying to fade to ledge. He's just inside his head. Pango is on fire. Yeah, he truly is. It's not even just straight combos either. It's like reads on follow ups. Oh, catches him dying in twice, but. Oh, this is his chance. Okay. Oh, oh Swedish. And Mango. That was a great neutral air out of shield. Perfect timing. Yeah, it really was. Able to break the pressure up. But this oh. could and is it. Mango on fire, destroying this loser's bracket. A 3 0 against Gosh. Swedish Delight after being taken dude, to the brink by dude. Fluff. That hurts. That hurts. That I mean, is... Swedish is an amazingly strong player. So just to see him get kind of. He got pushed around. Yeah, he did. He Mango's did. a schoolyard bully right now. I mean, he, he had so many uh, initiations, like we were talking about, in the aerials with those forward airs, with those neutral airs, but they don't convert off of anything, and it doesn't get that grounded hit that she desperately needs for the uh, her combo game. And he never really got into a momentum. I feel like when Sheiks are getting a lot of knocks downs, and they get, uh, you know, many opportunities, is when they start to feel themselves. On right. each individual one, then they'll do a little bit more, they'll get better, right. they'll land that extra tech chase or get that read. Yeah. But he even when he got the knockdowns, there were so few, and he never really had any momentum to, you know, yeah. get much off of them. I mean, he was definitely capable of getting it. The few times he did, I feel like he did convert as best he could, and yeah. he, he did hit his edge guards pretty decently. Yeah, Maybe. especially towards the last, you know, game and a half, he started to pick that up. But it's just so heavily skewed to Mango's combo game. Yeah. It's, it's uh, bad news bears. <laughs> bad news bears.